Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about how to integrate Chat GPT with Automation Anywhere A360 with a step by step guide. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without wasting the time, we'll see very sensational product. What is Chat GPT? Chat GPT is a language model developed by open AI company that can generate human like text for tasks such as chatbot response, creative writing and question answering. And it is used deep learning technology and a large amount of data to produce a realistic text. So nowadays, so many use cases are running with a chat GPT. You can see in the YouTube channels. So, so many integrations everything you can learn from the youtube channel videos today we will see how we can generate our chat gpt response in automation anyway tool so directly i will go to a process so today we have to do the process of how to take the input from the user and how to connect automation anywhere tool with chat gpt api process and after that how to get a data from the API and how to generate a simple automation anywhere output using tool. So everything we will cover it in this particular session. Without wasting the time, directly I will show you how to use a open AI API. You have to do only a simple task. Type the open AI in the Google. You will get a open AI company website. Go inside open AI company website link you will get a very beautiful screen here and the most important part for automation of open ai api is go with the api section application programming interface and you have to sign up or log in to get a api if you are new to open api you have to go with a sign up property i have already logged in so you can go with the login option to use a open AI application. So I will log in with my Gmail ID. Wait for login your open AI application. And this is the one you will get all of your APIs of open AI company. And here in the personal, you will get a weave api key this is very important and the first step we have to follow in each and every apis right the first we have to create our api key for the api request the first thing is click on the api and here you will get a create new secret key and this is very important thing do not share with your secret key with anyone after this video, I will also delete my used key in the video. So directly create and you will get a one pop up with a your API key. And very important thing is without copy this key, do not close it because you will won't be able to view it again if you close this API pop up. So just copy your key and paste it inside the notepad. Then you can click on the OK. Very simple task. Next thing is we have to understand what exactly this API is doing, right? For that purpose, go with the documentation. And here in the documentation, you have to go API reference tab and completions. As all the API, how we will follow? Same thing we have to follow in this API also. We have to first see the documentation part of the API here they have mentioned create a completion with a post method. We will see in automation anywhere what are all the methods we have in the API calling. Go to automation anywhere and search a web service in your automation anywhere action tab. In the web services you have this many methods rest uh, delete method get method patch method post method and put method for this particular api reference we have to get the data from post method 
they have already mentioned in the documentation so that's why i have i will take a post method for my connection purpose first thing we have to do in the automation anyway get the data from the user for that i will take a step one as a user input or chart gpt and take a prompt for a value you can take any other action or actions also to get the data from the users so i will take a prompt for a value as i am taking the question from the user so here you can mention chart gpt bot and prompt for a message is please enter your question that's it after that you can create a variable here using create variable str input so already it is available so i will just take it from the drop down str input very simple the first step of our bot is completed user input for the chat gpt next step is we have to connect a rest web service with our api reference right so directly take a second step connect chat gpt api for that as i already told search rest web services and take the post method as already they have mentioned in the documentation we have to take a post method and here what is uri for the open ai so just you can see in the right hand side you have a example request just copy this example request here you have a so many other libraries also this is a curl library and this is python library this is node js for automation anywhere purpose you can take a cu cu url and this is the one which method we are using text divinci 003 and you have a so many other methods also you can try with anyone this is the latest one so i am and default one so i am taking the default one as a example request just copy this one and paste it inside your notepad very simple so after the curl what you have that is your uri copy this uri please follow with me if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you like this video okay just copy this uri and go to your automation anywhere and paste it in uri section the next thing is for every api depending on the methods we have to create a headers or authentications for this api we don't have any direct authentication like control room or a basic or something you can take a no authentication but in the header you have to give the authentication how to give the authentication just click on add header no need to change anything just go with the default one add header and here you have to give the key name you can go go to your notepad and here you can see authentication author, authorization right just copy this authorization and paste it in the name section and as i told these keys are very very sensitive and secret key please do not share with anyone after this video i will also delete my secret key so now go with the insecure string and copy here from the bearer so this is very important if you give only your key it will not work take the bearer and your key copy and paste it as they told this is your api key right you have to replace your api key with this your api key so my api key is this one copy and replace your api key that's it add very simple task and here you have to add a parameters what is parameters parameter is a one it is a indication that what you are asking to the api if you are asking the question to the api so api should understand right for that purpose they have created a parameter what is the parameter we have to use it very simple you can um, just read here enclose value in the double curly brackets that is a parameter here in your request also you can see here enclosed with a 
double mark like this okay model so text dimension 003 prompt say this is a test here in the prompt you have to use your question and maximum token and temperature this is also very important for this api just copy that format and paste it so now in the prompt you can see say this is a test here you have to write your question as we have already saved our user input in the str input take that str input as a variable here so we can make it as a dynamic just remove say this is a test don't remove double quote and inside the double quote take your str input variable that's it next step is very important not last okay go to the multiple variable or dictionary variable both are similar you can go with a multiple variable and create a variable to hold the output of api as we aware all apis will give the output in the json or xml format you can go with the key any one of them so as i aware this particular api will give you the json format go with here body this is very important and save it in str body create and select add it save this particular post method in your automation anyway and now you can use a message box to get your output first you will get a output as a json step we'll see first json output then we will get to know how we can get the output from the json format okay this is start gpt api output so now you can take a message box drag and drop inside the step and mention here str so just take it from the variable section str body okay so save now and run the bot the first our automation anywhere bot will ask you the question like please enter your question like this one pop up will come so after that our api will connect with automation anywhere please enter your question here so just i will take who am i very critical question i am asking to our chat gpt who am i so click okay you will get a output in the json format see id is there text is there in between here we have a answer also how we will get to know what is exactly answer we have got because this is a json format right so we have to get the value from the json format for that purpose just i will copy the message and i will search in the google as json pathfinder so you will get a so many online pathfinder i am going with the first one so just you can close it and here replace your particular output and you will get here in the choice zeroth and here you can see you are the person asking okay this particular answer i need it in the message box to get this particular answer you need a path of the json so in the top you are finding a json path copy without x dot copy the json path and have a note in your notepad now go and search here in the automation anywhere json the first thing is whenever you are working with a json you have to start the session and give the text what is the text we have using str body right this is the output str body and you can change your session name also not an issue and i will take a end session also in between this i have to add a get node value how to get the node value already we have find in the json finder so you can just copy that path choice 
zeroth index dot text and paste it in the json path and this output should be save in str output create and select save now take the message box and here in the message box use str output now we are all set to run so we will see how automation anywhere will ask the question and how we will get the response back from our chat gpt run wait for downloading dependency now you can ask any of the question to our chat gpt please enter your work question so you can enter what is rpa click ok and you will get a response in the message box like this rpa is a so in the message box it is showing very little so just i will close this stop and go with the step message box and here you can see scrolling after line okay you can use a string because we have the output with so many other characters for that purpose i will take a trim so before showing the answer i'm trimming my str output and save it inside the str output and now we will run the bot and here you can use what is rpa and click ok you will get only a a little characters right so very small character maybe or 10 or 20 characters rpa robotic so to get a complete action you have to increase a token for that purpose in the chart gpt second step go with the rest web services and here in the maximum token you can increase to 500 or a 1000 depending on your usage if you give the 500 you will get a large amount of data inside your output so we will see how we will get it so basically a maximum token is a one so it is it is a indication that how many outputs you need it so now same question i will ask what is rpa click ok wait for some time to generate see robotic process automation is a technology that allows the business to automate the repetitive or manual task by using software robots so this many description it will give it to you by using automation anywhere and chat gpt api so we will see another question So we will ask a question is you will kill human work. So I am asking very a rare question. So we will see what exactly we will get an answer. No, my will does not kill humans. Right. So like this, a human interaction kind values, you will get it in the output. Very simple one. Please practice in your system and you will get to know what exactly you have to use it, what exactly chat GPT is and wherever you can use as a use case. I hope you have understand properly what is chat GPT and how to connect our automation anywhere with a chat GPT. If you have any question and queries, please comment below in this video or you can directly connect with whatsapp or any other social media so i have mentioned the description in the video so thank you very much have a nice day happy learning